Hello and welcome to another installment of RF Master's Monster Garage. The uh, 383 uh, alignment has been uh, proceeding on schedule. Uh, the engine uh, is slowly being dialed in. Today we have uh, able to dial in some some volumetric efficiency tables at low RPM around idle. The uh, uh, base timing has been verified at 6 degrees initial. The idle uh, timing uh, around uh, 750 RPM has been verified around 20 degrees or thereabouts. Give or take a degree depending on the compensation that's being kicked in. Uh, we do have a problem with a cold start with a fixed uh, fuel pressure. Apparently I'm having some problems with the uh, being too much fuel being dumped uh, by the injectors during the cranking and flooding the engine essentially. So that's something I have to look into uh, by examining the data logs. So the engine is warm right now as you can see on the on the uh, heads up display. It's, we've been running it before. It's the coolant temperature is set at 100. The uh, inlet air temperature is disabled. I don't have it in this harness at this time, but we'll fix it later on. So I'll give you a little bit of the uh, what this thing sounds like, uh, just for the bragging. I hate to do this, but sometimes I must. But uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, you got to show off what I've been able to do and with all the effort that went into building this engine, the engine stand fuel injection harness and so forth and so on. It's a lot of work. Uh, no kidding about it, but uh, it's very satisfying to hear this thing purr like a kitten. So why don't we turn this on and let's get back to my engine control panel. Here's my engine control panel that you saw last time. And we have O2 heater switch on, ignition, start, we do have ability to disable fuel pump or prime the system at will. We do have a control of the fans uh, that came from the derelict Acura. The, um, the only gauges that work on this uh, panel right now, <laughs> surprisingly, is a voltmeter and the tachometer. The, the water temperature is not connected to, and the oil pressure is being monitored manually from the mechanical gauge that's mounted on the back panel on the engine. So let's turn the system on, turn the OT here on, ignition is on, and crack.
Okay, well, with this in mind, bear the we have. I still have a lot of work to do. Was uh, dialing in the um, V maps and the uh, other parameters as well. I have a problem, as I mentioned earlier, with uh, engine being plotted during cranking. I guess the the uh, injector pull was a little too long for these size injectors, since the uh, original. Um, uh, bin file was specifically designed for 305 engine. With this in mind, I'd like to thank everyone that helped me put this uh, engine together, specifically, well, without any in any particular order, Mr. Yo at uh, CAM in Huntington Beach, uh, the, um, the white performance that supplied the crankjet, uh, DC trumpet for massaging the um, throttle body and injector the um, well, who else I can think of right now uh, R-Bob uh, the dynamic EFI for supplying EBL uh, ECM conversion kit uh, for my ECM uh, the usual uh, uh, automotive supply stores Rock Auto Kragen, uh, AutoZone, and the list goes on and on and on. So, there it is, as of today, August uh, 15th, 2010. Still looking for a car uh, to drop this thing into, and uh, I haven't started searching in earnest. Uh, I've been doing some preliminary searches, and uh, we'll see what happens. Time will tell. I'm not in a hurry. And it's been a very fun project to do. So with that in mind, so long from RF Masters Master's Mazda Garage.